Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video and all who's watching. I pray your day is blessed. I wanted to go ahead and read the book of Jude since I had spoken to you all about it yesterday. Um, so we'll start with the epistle of Jude. Greeting to the called Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. To those who are called, sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. Contend for the faith. Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints, for certain men have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Old and new apostates. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed those who did not believe, and the angels who did not keep their proper domain but left their abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day, as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael, the archangel, in contending with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. But these speak evil of whatever they do not know, and whatever they know naturally like brute beast. In these things, <clears throat> pardon me, they corrupt themselves. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, have run greedily in the error of Balaam for profit, and perished in the rebellion of Korah. Apostates depraved and doomed. These are spots in your love feast while they feast with you without fear, serving only themselves. They are clouds without water, carried about by the winds, late autumn trees without fruit, twice dead, pulled up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming up their own shame, wandering stars for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever." Now Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men, also saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Apostates predicted, these are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lust, and they mouth great swelling words, flattering people to gain advantage. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lusts. These are sensual persons whose cause divisions not having the Spirit. Maintain your life with God, but you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And on some have compassion, making a distinction, but others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Glory to God. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to God our Savior, 
who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. And this, my brothers and sisters, is all happening now. This um, atrocity that we see, this darkness all over the world, and the evil has just blatantly increased, and it's not even hidden anymore. It's in plain sight. Um, so that is why, uh, when the Lord has me to speak about the armor of God, I do it. So I hope that this word of God blessed you and I love you in Christ. I pray for you, um, and your families, uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ watch over you and protect you and surround you with a hedge of protection in the full armor of God and, and keep looking up saints. Um, our redemption draws nigh. I know that we do not know the day and the hour of Jesus, um, you know, him coming, him taking his bride and the rapture, but we can read the signs of the times and, um, he loves us. He loves us dearly and God wants all to be saved but some, um, God gave us free will, and some have blatantly chosen uh, to turn away from him, to reject him, um, and God is uh, coming back to judge, and um, I just want to share the Word of God with you. When he prompts me, I want to share it. I want to encourage you. I want to edify you, and I want to be here for you. And I believe truly, brothers and sisters in Christ, that we need to, especially in these times, be here for each other, especially edifying, encouraging, building each other up. Um, I, I truly believe that um, the division that is caused amongst us is intentional um, by the enemy. And I, I, I truly believe that we need to love each other and to support each other and pray for each other. Um, and it's, you know, so that we can become more like him. We can become more like Jesus Christ. And it's an everyday battle. Believe me, I fall short every day. Um, but I do love the Lord Jesus. And that's what my channel is all about. And I appreciate you subscribing and, and commenting and praying. Um, even there's comments of encouragement for other members of the channel. So thank you for that. And I love you. And I'm here to support you in any way I can. God bless you. I love you in Christ. Amen.